he will never be president of the United States. He had a really good chance to be different and really have a chance to change things, but he, he doesn't do the work. He's lazy. Even if Donald Trump did win all of the toss-up states, he would still lose. We talk about him every day and we continuously bash him. He's not going to be the president. He... Don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that. At least I will go down as a president. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You parked too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Oh, happy days. The Supreme Court has just ruled, and they ruled in Donald Trump's favor, as everybody predicted. Well, not everybody. The people on the left were still hopeful that something will turn. But the Supreme Court has ruled 9-0, a landslide. 9-0, okay? Now, Colorado was trying to block Trump from being on the ballot, and it's... It's not lawful, okay? It's three of the far left judges, Kagan, Sotomayor, and Kataji Brown. You know they didn't want to side with Trump. You know they did not want to side with Trump, but they had to do it. And let's take a listen to uh, Justice Kagan right quick. Most boldly, I think that the question that you have to confront is why a single state should decide who gets to be president of the United States. <laughs> Basically, she was saying that one state was trying to control every other state by trying to get the guy off the ballot, right? It's not about the insurrection because Donald Trump was never convicted. He was never put for trial as an insurrection, okay? So this was not about insurrection. This was about the Democrats trying to cheat, and they know they couldn't beat Trump fair and square, so they're trying to take him off the ballot. They try to go around the justice system and the Supreme Court just block them. All right. Let's listen to more Kagan. You know, if you weren't from Colorado and you were from Wisconsin or you were from Michigan and it really, you know, what the Michigan Secretary of State did is going to make the difference between, you know, whether candidate A is elected or candidate B is elected. I mean, that seems quite extraordinary, doesn't it? It's plain and simple. It's plain and simple. The people, you Democrats were caught cheating again. You're exposed. I know some of y'all are embarrassed because y'all was really hooked hook up on this insurrection stuff. All the press, MSNBC, NBC, all of them talking about insurrection, insurrection. <laughs> like Kataji Brown, Judge Kataji Brown said, Section 3 does not apply to Trump because this is about an officer who had been appointed and after being appointed he wanted to be a president, you cannot do that. This is civil war time. But you knuckleheads try to use civil war times to now and try to make it modern time. But it didn't work. The president is not an appointed position. So this is only about appointed position, an officer or an above, and who tried an insurrection and then tried to be a president. That's who they were obtained to. But no, you guys, you know, fairyland. You hate the guy so much. And look, y'all walking around delusion. And look how you look. You got egg in your face again. Nine, zero. Three of the most far, far left judges had to agree and had some common sense and come to the right and said, this guy has the right to be on the ballot. We didn't concede that it's an effort to overthrow the government either, Justice Jackson. Right? None of these criteria were met. This was a riot. 
It was not an insurrection. The events were shameful, criminal, violent, all of those things, but it did not qualify as insurrection as that term is used in Section 3. And that's precedent. Nobody else could ever try to do this again, try to get somebody off the ballot because you just don't like them. Why should a single state have the ability to make this determination, not only for their own citizens, but for the rest of the nation? If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe, see that notification bell, turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mom I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you guys again. And all you crybaby boo-boo, get off my lawn.